One, two, three. <laughs> okay, I'll do the intro. Welcome back to It's Actually Spicy. Sort of continuing our grilling season. This time around, we are making chicken burgers. Uh, pretty simple, pretty straightforward, but fantastic and full of flavor. Yeah. Very easy to put together, super flavorful. And yeah, let's get started. All right. First, I like to always salt and pepper meat separately, so that way I sort of have an idea of how much is in there. And black crushed pepper. Yep. Generous amount. Yes. About a half cup of panko breadcrumbs. Then we've got some mayo. <laughs> <laughs> just pull a spoon from out of your back pocket. Well, I didn't know where else to put it, so I just kind of put it in my back pocket. All right. Weirdo. Um, it's got some mayo. Then we're gonna go uh, garlic powder. Then we got some red crushed pepper. And then oregano. And then do some zeta cumin, cumin seeds. Cumin seeds, and I'm sure just gonna crush them a little bit by hand. Nothing too crazy. You can get splinters though. And then we've got three minced green chilies or birds of chilies, whatever you want to call them. Yum. And now... We're going to just mix it all yes. up. Yes. So the breadcrumbs and the mayo are fats that you need to sort of uh, help this stay together. You can also use egg uh, with the breadcrumbs and then you can adjust and you know, add more breadcrumbs as you need to, to get this a little bit more firm. I know, but this is a good, um, we use vegan mayo, um, but for those who are like allergic to dairy um, or eggs in general, like this is a good. And then what we're gonna do now that it's together, and you know it's good because it sort of has like this dough-like consistency. We're gonna take that and we're just gonna sort of form a patty with it. A big patty. Yep. Uh, Yum. Pro tip, get your hands wet with cold water first. And it will stick like as well. Some? Yes. So we've got some cold water. For some reason, it helps your hands to not stick to the stuff. I don't really know why. I don't know the science behind it. My mom told me this some time back and I believed her and it worked. So see, boom. That looks so good already. Yep. I'm really excited about it. There's some grill marks on that. Yep. Um, you want to be pretty thick because uh, these shrink and also the thickness helps them to sort of not break as you try to flip them on the grill. Last one. You touched me with your meat hands. No, I didn't. Yeah. It was just water. All right, so we got our uh, grill preheated. Uh, it's on about medium heat right now. We've oiled up the grates and I'm toss on the The patties are on the grill right now, and in that meantime, we're going to. I just, I just don't understand why a man cuts his onion like that. Well, not all men, just me. Like I'm thinking he's gonna cut like rounds, and he just cuts it right in half. And for somebody who needs to see like visually appealing burger patties. Oh, these aren't gonna be visually appealing. Okay, so we're going to cut these very, very thinly. So cut that off. Just kick me out of the frame. I mean, if you're not needed, you're not needed. I think a, what's it called, a, a mandolin probably would be better for this, but we don't have one, so we're just gonna use fingers to guide. So you want them really, really thin for this burger because you're essentially gonna, you want these to caramelize as much as possible with the steam in the grill. And the rounds are really good if you're just using a, like the full round on top of the onion, right? But these are gonna cook on top of the patty. When you were mentioning it, I was thinking that you will have like a thin slice and it kind of goes on top. Yeah, no, it's not gonna be like that. So this method of cutting, 
Remember uh, White Mana in Jersey? That burger sure. spider joint one too? Sure, I don't remember, but okay. Anyways, this method of cooking is inspired by that type of burger. Their sliders where they use onions and then they use the steam from the onions and uh, the buns on top and that's sort of where all the flavors sort of meld together. So this is inspired that, by that, but grilled and with a lot more flavors. Okay, so it's been about five minutes. See these are doing pretty well now. So we're gonna have to flip these over. Ooh, love grill marks. And now what we're gonna do is gonna ahead and put like a handful of these onions on top. It's gonna get messy and that's okay because these are gonna get caramelized in the steam. Okay, now we're just gonna close this back up, give it a few more minutes and then we'll be good. Okay, now we have just a couple minutes left on these burgers so we're gonna quickly toast the buns for a couple seconds just to make sure they're nice and warm. All right, literally, I think 30 seconds, just enough time for me to go get the plate. Just want those char marks on there. All right, and now we're going to grab the patties. Come inside and assemble. So we're going to start assembling our burger because I am ready to eat that thing. First, I'm adding sriracha on the top here. We're adding our cheese on the bottom bun. And then we're going to add our chicken patties. Those onions look amazing. And then I'm just going to add some of our homegrown microgreens on top. I'm so hungry. I know, my mouth is like watering right now. Put it on top. It's not how you would assemble it at home, but. But it's me. For the camera. <laughs> That patty is so juicy. Yeah, I'm always I'm a smash burger type of person, but on a grill, you need them thick, them thick boys. If you just look at the juiciness of the patty and you just cut it in half, it is so juicy. Well, like, subscribe, try our recipes, and we'll see you later. Share. <laughs> Bye.